My unofficial foster father hangs up on me a lot, she uses his car as a weapon, which I brought him. Um, and uh, his phone as a weapon too. He upsets me all the time and wonders why I yell. What is it? It's your file. Send it back to the judge for evaluation. Well, you're not going to fail me, are you? What's it say? With that. 20 years of counseling. Yeah, I've seen some pretty awful shit. I mean, have you had any experience with that? Personally. Yeah. Yeah, I have. I'm sure I ain't good. My father was an alcoholic. Mean fucking drunk. somebody. So I'd provoke him so he wouldn't go after my mother and little brother. Interesting nights but when he wore his rings. Yeah, he used to just put a, um, a wrench, a stick, and a belt on the table and just say choose. Well, I gotta go with the belt there, Vanna. I used to go with the wrench. Why the wrench? Because fuck him. That's why. Your foster father. an attachment disorder? Is it all that stuff? Fear of abandonment? Is that why, uh, is that why I broke up with Skyler? I didn't know you had. Yeah, I did. You want to talk about it? No. You will? I don't know a lot. You see this? Holy shit. Now, I've learned to control my emotions after a lot of years of trauma. But, in that video you just heard, that guy was amazingly cute. I mean, 10 out of 10. And that means, well, you can see my face right now, right? There's, well, no complaints here. And that's exactly what happens to people who, uh, well, 
I wouldn't call myself bad looking, definitely cute. But uh, people have been mistreating me since I was a kid. I went to the op shop and I helped out there and one of them actually punched me. I just punched him back. Well, that's is never the answer though. Stand up for yourself, it's a good thing though. So, people who look like him and me, the one you just heard, are always objectified, always abused. Me, I grew up doing horse riding, show jumping, dressage, acrobatics, martial arts, uh, Aikido, Korean martial arts, attack and defense, gymnastics. I may look pretty innocent, but I learned to get tough over the years. And in that video, it was like one of the cutest dudes I've ever seen in my life. Wow. And the cuter you are, the worse you were treated. Now we go to the rudeness of my unofficial foster father, hanging up on me constantly, driving his car away, and I think he actually uh, is jealous of me deep down. I just want to watch TV and listen to music. I don't care about people's petty, petty little regrets of life and all that. I, I, I really don't care. But I'm not putting up with it anymore, and I'm going to move back to Sydney. I have a plan. On my money. My unofficial foster father has been mentally, abusing, mentally and emotionally abusing me for about a decade now, and I want the entire world to know that. He's just shrug it off and move on. He's even left me to die. Or left me in kidnapping situations. Or ignored me when I need to be picked up from hospital when I was very ill. And right now, I'm terminally ill. I wouldn't even trust him to look after my 11-year-old ne nephew. No. He would not make a great father. 
It's time I pulled out the big guns. He may be my best friend in the world, besides another person. But it's time I said what's what.
water? Solid. Go on. I love you, love mother. mother. I love you, son. I always love you. Let's go. 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 Let's go.